good day to you i am looking at two boys one born with a silver spoon in his mouth and the other in more difficult circumstances however there was a plan for a design for each one's life that brought them to greatness greater than their parents Uh, the first one i want to look at his name of yabes and we are told a summary of his life at the beginning so my uh, theme is that even when a child is 12 years old concentrate on his dominant gift what his dominant gift i have done a, a clip before this so if you i am not allowed to mention this if you want the earlier clip on gifts and character Uh, please send me a whatsapp to 0742115011 the kids have different giftings according to the fatherhood character ability they get there are some kids who are profiting speculative imaginative they see things better than others hear things better than others some of them go to music some of them go to art and they feel things better than others they have a feel of things Uh, so uh, such uh, such a child was this yabis but he was bo- uh, born in very difficult circumstances though his life summary says yabis was more honorable than his brothers so the other character we are going to look at the other boy is joseph and his name meant it god will add so there is a sibling or a child that you have in your family that that he is destined to be more honored honorable than others to bring credit to the family line and expand the family line into territories that the family line has not known before this so be be ready for that uh, so don't think of a black sheep or a, or or an ugly duckling but think of a son or a daughter who is destined for greatness Uh, and you have to watch that child that you give them a training that can equip them for that greatness if not there will be frustration so jabez was more honorable than his brothers and his mother named him jabez saying because i bore him with pain so there was a constant surrounding the mother and the family it was a painful time it's possible this was physical pain it is also possible the pain was emotional Jabez says father is not mentioned so there might have been some issue on that so he was born with mom thinking it's during pain that i have this child and that begins to affect the child or it gets into his psyche but how did he overcome this now jabez call on the god of israel so very early children can pray and receive their destiny understanding of their destiny and we are thinking of the silver line god has for your child and that silver line takes him to his appointed promotions and crown of gold at each stage and the child is meant to be a tree planted by the river of water that's what you nourish him with bringing forth fruit in every season and his leaf will not wither and you have to take care of three things that affect children one is the counsel of the ungodly this is how someone gives any parent instruction how to care for your child what you face with kids someone says what comes against a child is the ungodly counsel of peers even others or influences and so on and then the way of sinfulness different things that come his way her way of sinfulness diminishing god in them thirdly seat of the scornful their invisible seats exercising visible influence dominion over kids mindset so different games uh, different habits that are inculcated that are promoted addictive habits all these things become seeds of the scornful that come against the child's fruitfulness so all all this a modern parent has to think of but here is a child 
who began to feel the stirrings of God in his heart from his very young days. And I, I suggest age 12 is a critical age because by that time our brain tracks are wiring up and by 14 uh, brain tracks would have wired up and it does a 50% edit. So whatever the child has been doing, creative or repetitive, that remains with the child. So the time to make brain brilliant is before the age of 40. But that's what you are going to have for your adult life to manage with your brain tracks. So don't neglect children before the age of 14, especially passing through 12, uh, make them as applied as possible. These days I am teaching parents to help the child to understand the Good Shepherd. Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still, quiet, pure waters. For his name's sake, he leads me in the paths of righteousness. So even during exam time, even during study time, children can experience the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, help of the Good Shepherd. So by the time Jabez was going from 12 to 17, he understood some things and he began to pray, Oh, that you would bless me indeed. So Jabez felt God can overturn whatever negative circumstances. That is what a blessing is that comes from God above. And the shepherd Psalm, Psalm 23 says, God anoints my head with oil and causes my cup to run over. And God furnishes my table even in the presence of adversaries and adversities. It's a God thing. We don't have to fear. We don't have to get frustrated, disappointed, because God works out the seasons of prosperity. And keep your silver line. That's my recurring theme in this short message. Uh, talk, keep your silver line, and that silver line will produce the next promotion, the next gold crown, that is on your destiny, your God's call. Oh, that you would bless me indeed, enlarge my border, territory. So that also comes to a child that he has more and it is dad who has to help him enlarge the territory. Mother makes it daily secure. So if mother's voice is overwhelming in a child's life, child is worried about the daily things. Of course, a child must take care of the daily things, but he gets so worried that he begins to feel not good enough or uh, I have to do what I have to do now, which is true. But father has to give him a step up, a spring up, a stretch for the next thing. Little things every day, a puzzle while playing, a climb that he has not climbed, uh, 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 you know, a jigsaw he has not done before. So father gives the child the next steps, the next spring, and the confidence to face challenge. That is what is about increasing the territory. So Jabez said, O oh Lord, increase my territory, enlarge my territory, that your hand might be with me. So he understood that God can personally bless him and God's hand can work for him. That you would keep me from harm and that it may not pain me because he was all the time conscious that at birth he had caused pain and God granted him what he requested and we are told he became a famous judge and after his name he founded a judge community, a township of judges. So he did great having begun with a painful birth. The second one we are looking at is Joseph. At the age of 12 he began to have a special gift of dreams seeing beyond others and by the time of he was 17, he was already managing his father's estate, meaning he was his father's personal secretary. He had 10 brothers older to him, but he's the one who took stock of the husbandry, animal husbandry, and he was well trained for by the age of 17. Then his jealous brothers sold him without the father's knowledge as a slave to a foreign country. But as God would direct it in that foreign country because of his capability on being questioned and being examined, he was sold for a high price and a very rich man, a bought him man called Potiphar, who was none other than the defense minister of 
the Pharaoh's empire and her close relative of Pharaoh. This pitched him, and Potiphar found this young fellow of 17 can do his housework, estate work. Of course, he was a very rich man. Uh, all that he had been trained in his father's house, and by his gift of foresight to see into things, predict trends and uh, what, what's going to be, he was able to be a very good manager, senior manager, uh, group CEO, so to say, for uh, Potiphar, just from 17 to 27. Then Mrs. Potiphar had, uh, cast a glad eye upon this young, handsome, able fellow, and he resisted it because he feared God, and it's a kangaroo court just like now. Without any trial, he was landed in prison because the powerful uh, king was the law and the power made the law, he was landed in prison. But Joseph's eye was on the silver line and he was saying, what will be the crown that's coming to me in this, as the silver line goes to a, goes to a prison? He, he, he was not waiting on the events, he had a decision made inside him it's a silver line of God that's working. Romans 8.28 God works for good to them that love him and call according to his purposes through all things. All things are not good, but God works all the time. You can say that when you are facing trouble. Eventually, Pharaoh has a bad dream and Joseph is a uh, difficult dream. Joseph is called to interpret it and that was a dream about seven years of abundance and seven years of famine how to manage the resources. Pharaoh said, no one is more qualified than you to do this, and I gave, appoint you second in command of my whole empire, your second only to me. So a childhood development, youthful development from 12 to 17, with God in the picture, that's how Yasef came into that very highly honorable position. So we have looked at the stories of two kids, one, born with a silver spoon in his mouth, Joseph, and the other one born in adverse circumstances, but for them both, God's coat, God's silver line, brought them a crown. So when you are diligent with your gift, you will not serve before mean men, you will serve in the highest level of your land. So believe the promises of God, whether you were born in uh, non-affluent circumstances or you were born in affluent circumstances, God has a gift working in you. God wants to work that gift with you to the best God has for you. So say, come into my heart, Lord Jesus, the Good Shepherd, and forgive me my sins, get me on track, and I will get on your track, and that your silver line is what will work for me uh, to take me to every place you have for me. So that's my talk, encouraging young, and the parents to go for it between 12 and 17. Be very diligent how your kid grows up and future greatness waits for them and use 12 to 17 well with God's help and God blessing. Thank you for listening. And as I said, if you want any more clips on spiritual uh, topics or on science and reason, please send a WhatsApp to 74 511 if you are from overseas, plus 94, 74, 211, 11. I'm Dr. Lars Mendes. You can also download my app, Golden Nuggets, free of charge, from Google or from App Store. Thank you. Good day.